everyone today i'm going to show you how to create a custom view in swift ui so i'm going to name my project my custom view and i'm going to select swift ui as the interface and select an area to save it in so when it first opens up you're going to have one view and that's going to be the view that displays on the screen when you open your app it defaults to having this little image and the text hello world I'm going to go add a new file, which is going to be for my custom view. I'm going to select Swift UI view so that it gets the correct defaults. And I'm just going to call that my custom view. I'm going to go ahead and create that. And inside it's defaulting to having this text hello world body. And it also has this little preview provider so that I can see what my custom view will look like on screen. I'm defining this greeting that I'm going to refer to from within my body. Um, but first, I'm just going to set my preview to use my custom view. And inside that custom view, I need to pass in that greeting because it isn't, hasn't been defined. And um, I've set that to bonjour, which means that greeting inside my custom view will be set to bonjour. And if I refer to it from within this text view, then I'm going to get bonjour. And if I had kept world as I did previously, then it will say bonjour world instead of hello world. That means that I can customize what greeting I'm passing to my custom view. So yeah, when I specify that greeting um, field there, it means that when I initialize I need to pass in a value for that. I'm going to also want to pass in who I'm greeting and we'll call that greeted and I'm going to pass that in when I initialize my custom view and I'm going to just set it to world so that will be as expected and then I can reference it from within my text view. And you can see it says bonjour world on the screen. Now heading over to my custom view, I can use my custom view. I mean, heading over to my content view, I can use my custom view. And I just need to pass in those values. So I could do hello world. Or hello YouTube. And I can sort of pass whatever I want. But basically it means I've got this reusable view that I can pass different parameters to and depending on what I pass it's going to display differently. And it means that if you've got something that you want to look similar similar like and reuse multiple times throughout your application, you can sort of style it once and set it up once and reuse it and it reduces um, duplicate code throughout your application. So you can see I've got I'm using that same custom view but it looks different depending on the parameters that I pass to it. And I could even pass styling parameters to it if I want. Now I could even go as far as to pass in a um, value when the state changes. So I could have a text field that um, depends on a state field. And when that um, state um, variable changes then it's going to update my custom view accordingly because when the state um, changes it will re-render any views that depend on it. So I'm going to reference that state variable from my text field so that when I enter text it updates that state variable. Whoops, I defined that at the wrong level. I need to define that inside the content view. And then I could also reference it from one of my custom views. Basically, that would mean when I type in that text field, you'll see that the custom view updates with the name that I enter. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. All my code will be available on GitHub. Please like and subscribe for more content.